Question 3. A motorbike travels along a straight flat road. The arrows represent the horizontal forces acting on the motorbike. Here we go. Which motorbike is traveling at uniform velocity? Uniform velocity means that there's no acceleration, which means that we should have a resultant force of zero, or net force equals zero. Ignoring the fact that our vectors aren't drawn how vectors should be drawn, should be an arrow like this anyway. Our motorbike in image A has a larger vector here than there, so there is a non-zero net force here, so it can't be A. Likewise with D, the force backwards is greater than the force forwards, so there's a non-zero net force here. Get rid of that one, leaving us with C and B. The trick to determining which of these is the correct one is to realise that if our motorbike is travelling at a uniform velocity, it's probably travelling against air resistance, friction of the road. So notice how in C we've got a force acting against the motorbike, which will cover the friction and the air resistance and stuff. But in B, there isn't a resistive force. So this motorbike probably isn't trying to travel through air and against the friction of the road. So if anything, even though this motorbike is travelling at a uniform velocity, the uniform velocity is zero because it's stationary it's not even moving so for our motorbike to have a uniform velocity it has to actually be traveling and not accelerating it is c